What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, Next Gen 720 And I am back with another video. And as I play that. Anyway, on to the day video. Um, maybe now we can probably put to bed this Direct X12 is not going to do anything for the Xbox One. Um, I think it's one of the most asinine things in the world. We're talking about Microsoft's own API. We're talking about Microsoft's own hardware. Phil Spencer's come on the record and said that the X12 was built, well, the Xbox One was built with the X12 in mind. Remember when they first started showing uh, the Xbox One's, uh, you know, flyers and banners, beta tested in the future? I told you, I swear, um, and I hate to be, I say, quote, unquote, the Xbox, they say, I told you so. And I'm talking to people like Rich Review Tech USA. No, this is not a diss video. This is just a common sense video. Shout out to the Red Dragon, too. Um, when he does these videos, you Xbox know that the DX12 is not going to do a fucking thing for the, the, the Xbox One. Jesus Christ. All right? The Wii U is a capable system. Maybe now we can put this all the shit to bed because we had some of the, you know, developers. No, I'm sorry, not some of the developers. Some motherfuckers in, the, in, in, in inside the loop in the hill. I was starting to break this down. I was starting to talk about it. Like a lot of things they couldn't say because of the non, you know, the NPDs, non disclosure agreements. You know what I mean? So, you know, a lot of things, because like I said, the Xbox One was never built for Direct X11. It's a nuisance for it. So you wonder why, like I said, it's sometimes it's a struggle to get games to 1080p, you know, and have a stable frame rate is because of the DX11. It wasn't built for that. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It's not that the East RAM is too small. No. Don't believe me. We have an article now. But this, like, there's some of the bigger games now, third-party games, are not shipping with Direct X12 support. But can be patched in later. So let's go ahead and read some of this stuff here. Um, since the Xbox One uses an architecture by AMD, therefore the benefits will we detailed yesterday. Was there's an article that came out yesterday also? We detailed yesterday will apply to to the console. Direct X11. I just said this has been a limiting factor in developing for Microsoft's console as developers have been forced to use it where areas are known to the PC and the PS4 and options have been available such as Mantel and OpenGPL. Now listen, I swear you can go back to my earlier videos. I've been seeing this shit from day one. The Xbox One was not built for DirectX 11. I understand it's Microsoft API, but it was built for DirectX 12. The Xbox One wasn't supposed to really, you think about it, wasn't supposed to come out in 2013. You know what I mean? But Sony got the jump on them. Sony, like I told you guys before, it's not that the PS4 is so much more powerful than the Xbox One. What it was, the way the PS4 architecture is built, that it would give you all the performance yields up front. That's it. Where the Xbox One is going to continue to get stronger, stronger, and stronger. You know what I mean? You can, like I told you guys before, you can have the fastest car in the world, but if you don't have the keys to start the car, that doesn't mean anything. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, and they're going to talk about some <clears throat> async shaders, and we, we're going to skip all that mumbo jumbo. But it says here, DirectX 12 aims to make it this easier to implement. Therefore, most large game developers are likely to use an increase of performance in their titles. Some of the biggest games this year won't ship with DirectX 12, no shit, but could be added via a post release patch. MSI recently spoke about The Witcher and Batman Arkham Knight. You know, they're not going to have. Most likely the X12 support, but can be patched at a later on date. Now listen, now the big hoop line where you see how people are trying to downplay AM, you know, I'm sorry, down trying to downplay um uh the benefits of Direct X12 and what's it gonna do because UPC gamers who are buying all these multi-core CPUs and all this shit and all these different cores. It's still the way the technology was built that only one core can talk to the GPU at a time. So if you got 25 cores, it don't mean shit. It's still 
It says it right here. It says Wardell said it. It said Wardell said it. We all know Brad Wardell is. He said um, Wardell said at the GDC. I have a lot of meetings with Microsoft, AMD, and a little bit of Nvidia and, and Intel. They really need to hit home the fact that DirectX 12 Vulcan and Mantle allow for the cores of your CPU to talk to the video card simultaneously. So why the fuck wouldn't that benefit the Xbox One? Think about it. Just think about it. Instead of one core going, all the cores can be doing different things and, like I said, doing different tasks. And then, but just let's just let's, let's, let's keep on. Let's, let's keep reading here. But everyone really iffy about that because that means acknowledging the fact that past the several years only one of your cores was talking to the GPU, and no one wants to go down that road. You know, by the way, you know that that multi-core GPU and CPU that you have is useless for games. I uh, took. Come on, listen, listen. I'm, I swear to God, I'm reading to you this right now. I didn't, even, I didn't even look over this. I just sort of the top part of the shit. And I said I've been talking about this shit on my channel from day one. I just I have a small channel here. I'm small potatoes in this big stew of YouTube commentators. Yes, I am. So a lot of things I talk about, and the way that I, I bring it. I mean, listen, I don't. A, I'm a. I'm you know uneducated. B, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. C, I'm just a motherfucking fanboy. I've been saying this shit since day one. I was the first channel on fucking YouTube saying that DirectX 12 was coming to the Xbox One. And I got so much shit behind this. It says here, DirectX 12 will have a huge benefit to the Xbox One. Is it essentially unlocking the Xbox One potential being held back by an age-old API that lacks the understanding and how to utilize multiple threads and cores. He even goes, this is a nice read, he even goes on to talk about the reason why Microsoft, well, the, the, the guy that designed the Xbox One, why he, um, it says here, he says, in the interview with Digital Front of the Xbox One, architect, and it was Andrew Goosen, that's his name, uh, spoke about the decision to increase the clock speed instead of increasing the number of compute units, you know, because the, the PS4 has more compute units than the Xbox One. So the primary reason that the six. 0.6% uh, clock speed boost was a win over additional CUs was because it lifted all the internal parts of the pipeline, such as the vertex, the rate, the triangle rate, the draw issues, the rate, everything. It but basically made everything work more efficiently when, basically when it comes down to using Direct X12. That it, like I told you guys before, the Xbox One is a fine tool machine and rarely belt. Go back to, again to what Apple Pinello said. He said, you think we don't know how to build a console? There are things that we that, that are not yet known about our console. I'm telling you now. Maybe you will start to believe me now. Maybe you will start to believe me now that performance-wise, the Xbox One, this is not even a flame video or, or debate or... I'm telling you now, do not be surprised if that the Xbox One starts to pull away of the PlayStation 4 in terms of performance. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Now again, call me everything but a child of God in the comment section. Call me an X-Bot. Uh, Phil Spencer said that list you have. Developer tech, this is what they do, okay? Like I said before, there were a lot of things behind the doors that they Phil can't even talk about. You know, but now all these things are starting to be lifted. You know what I mean? AMD is about to show their new, their new uh, GPU. You don't even know what you still. We still don't know what GPU was inside the Xbox One. You know what I mean? It's like I said, end of the day, like I said, but again, the Xbox One wasn't built for Direct X11. It wasn't. X is a big hint. Like I said, it is. It's a pain in the ass using it with the Xbox One. So that's why a lot of the these multiplayer games, the uh, PS4 has been the uh, lead console, like as far as development, because it was a pain in the ass, you know. But DirectX 12 here, it makes developers' job a lot easier, saves them money. They was able to put to port Elite Dangerous uh, one day from the PC to the Xbox One using DirectX 12. One day, ladies and gentlemen. So. But anyway, this is your boy Next Gen 720. I'm going to leave a link to this article down below. You guys can check it out. But I hate to be the Xbox. They say I told you so, but guess what? 
I told you so. Yeah, call me everything but a child of God. Call me an ex-bot. Call me a uh, motherfucking... I don't care. Call, call me what you want. But you can't call me broke. <laughs> but no, all jokes aside though, man. I, I, I think it's funny. And not to say that I, that I feel vindicated to me. It's common sense. If my, my windows... Uh, surfing with my wife has my tablet now. How she buy me something and takes it to work with every day? Baffles the hell out of me. But even my the tablet received a fourteen percent, you know, with forest frames it received a boost, performance boost. So why the hell would a console that's newer tech than what's in the window? Like you understand what I'm saying? Like that's just common sense. Something like you know, it's not saying that I'm some big tech guy that know what all the shaders do. No. It's just like, damn, if Microsoft's coming up with a new API and they just launched a console four or five months prior, that doesn't mean that if this is going to be on the market for a few years and DirectX is the standard of the industry, so why the hell would Microsoft put out a console that can't, you know, you know, reap the, the benefits and rewards of, of, of their new API? That's what I was all I was saying, you know, not still not knowing what about, you know, what DirectX would do and... You know, we didn't know any of that. that. That's all that I was saying. And I got called everything but a child of God. I haven't had this one. You know, I don't, I don't know you guys may know. I think he may have passed away. I see rhythms. Went on this whole slander. Because, you know, this channel. That's what they do. When their channels start to fall off. A lot of these old gatekeepers here on YouTube. They start begging for money and shit. You know, patrol counts. And when they shit start to join it off. And what they do. They come attack me. And now they start begging for money. Either they're begging for money or they're starting to attack me, you know, or the Xbox community when their channels fall off. And this is what they do. And he was one of over 10,000 subscribers getting like 800 views per video. So what are you going to do? Let's go attack Next Gen 720. Let's go attack, you know, the Crap Gamer and all those guys over there because I, my shit over here is not, you know, I could, and then quote unquote, and he is supposed to be a PC gamer. You understand what I'm saying? He even took a shot at Dark Holy. And how could Dark Holy not even correct him when he plays on... What, what is this big misconception because you play on PC and that you're smart? Like, what the hell is that? Oh, you oh, you know what I mean? Steam is so much like Xbox Live. You put the... Especially you put the bitch in... Like, what's so smart about that? You buy something that installs on your computer, you run it. What the hell is... That, that doesn't make you smart. Like, shit... I got an A-plus certification in hardware put from motherfucking Chubb Institute. You know what I mean? I can build a goddamn gaming computer or rig. The reason I didn't do, like I said, I couldn't make it as neat with running with all those wires and shit. But you know what I mean? It's like this, this basic fucking... Excuse my friends. I'm not even one of first to call it. Anyway, this video is getting longer than what it's supposed to be. But I want you guys to really read this. So now that we can put this... Hopefully... Put this whole Direct X12. It's not gonna do anything for the Xbox One. Nah, 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 boo, boo. It's your boy Next Gen I'm out of here. And how don't man how that Kermit defraud me? Go, I'm a, I'm a, this is Ice T too. I'm gonna sip this Ice.